We've always been fascinated by the raw power of nature, and today, we're diving into one of its most awe-inspiring phenomena. What if Yellowstone, that beautiful national park we all love, suddenly decided to remind us of its true nature? We're about to explore a scenario that's both terrifying and scientifically intriguing. What if Yellowstone erupted tomorrow? This journey through science and speculation is going to be one wild ride. Yellowstone isn't just any old national park. It's sitting on top of what scientists call a supervolcano. Now I want you to imagine a volcano, but then multiply its size and power by about a thousand. That's what we're dealing with here. The entire park is essentially a massive caldera, a volcanic feature formed by the collapse of land following a huge eruption. But here's the kicker. This supervolcano is still active. It's like a sleeping giant. And the ground beneath Yellowstone is literally bulging with magma. The heat from this underground reservoir is what powers all those famous geysers and hot springs. It's a constant reminder that there's an immense amount of energy just waiting to be released. Now this is really interesting. Yellowstone has a track record, and it's not exactly reassuring. Over the past 2.1 million years, this supervolcano has had three massive eruptions. We're talking about explosions that dwarf anything humans have ever witnessed. The most recent one was about 640,000 years ago, and it ejected enough material to bury an area the size of Texas five feet deep. Let's think about this for a second. These eruptions were so massive that they literally shaped the landscape of North America. They created huge calderas, spread ash across entire continents, and likely caused significant climate changes. It's like Mother Nature's way of reminding us just how small we are in the grand scheme of things. All right, so what makes a supervolcano tick? It all comes down to what's happening deep beneath our feet. Unlike regular volcanoes, which have a single magma chamber, supervolcanoes like Yellowstone have a complex system of interconnected magma chambers. It's like a network of underground reservoirs, all filled with molten rock. These chambers are constantly being fed by the heat from Earth's core. Over time, pressure builds up as more magma accumulates. The surrounding rock acts like a lid on a pressure cooker. Eventually, if enough pressure builds up and the right geological conditions occur, that lid can blow off in a catastrophic eruption. You might be wondering, how do we keep an eye on something that's miles underground? Well, that's where some really cool science comes in. Yellowstone is one of the most closely monitored geological sites in the world. Scientists use a whole array of high-tech tools to keep tabs on what's happening beneath the surface. There are seismometers to detect earthquakes, GPS stations to measure ground deformation, and gas sensors to analyze the chemicals being released from the ground. They even use satellite data to track changes in the landscape from space. It's like having a doctor constantly checking the vital signs of this sleeping giant. All this data helps scientists understand the normal behavior of the volcano and could potentially give us warning signs if an eruption was imminent. So let's dive into our what if scenario. What would the first moments of a Yellowstone eruption look like? Well, it probably wouldn't be as sudden as you might think. In the days or even weeks leading up to the eruption, we'd likely see a significant increase in earthquake activity. The ground would start to deform more rapidly, possibly creating new cracks or causing existing ones to widen. Then, things would start to get really intense. Steam explosions would begin to occur as superheated water turns to vapor and blasts through the ground. These explosions would get progressively larger, throwing rocks and ash into the air. Finally, the main event would begin. A massive explosion would occur as the pressure in the magma chamber finally overcomes the strength of the overlying rock. It would be like nothing we've ever seen in recorded history. The immediate impact of the eruption would be absolutely devastating. The area within a 60-mile radius of the eruption site would be completely obliterated by pyroclastic flows. These are fast-moving currents of hot gas and volcanic matter that can reach temperatures of up to 1,000 degrees Celsius and speeds of up to 300 miles per hour. Anything in their path would be instantly incinerated or buried, but the destruction wouldn't stop there. One of the most far-reaching effects would be the ash fallout. Volcanic ash isn't like the ash from your fireplace. It's made up of tiny, sharp fragments of rock and glass that can be incredibly damaging. This ash would be ejected high into the atmosphere and could spread across much of North America. Areas within 500 miles could see several inches to feet of ash accumulation, while a thin layer of ash could potentially cover most of the continent. Now let's think about what all this ash and devastation would do to our infrastructure. It's not a pretty picture. Roads would become impassable, coated in slippery ash that, when wet, turns into a cement-like substance. 
air travel across much of North America, and potentially even globally, would come to a standstill. Ash particles can severely damage aircraft engines, making flying extremely dangerous. Power grids would likely fail as ash accumulates on power lines, causing them to break, and clogs up transformers and other electrical equipment. Water treatment plants would struggle to deal with ash-contaminated water sources. Communication networks could be disrupted as cell towers and satellites are affected. In essence, the eruption could potentially knock us back to a pre-industrial level of technology in affected areas, at least temporarily. The human toll of such an eruption would be catastrophic. In the immediate vicinity of Yellowstone, survival would be nearly impossible due to pyroclastic flows and heavy ashfall. But even hundreds of miles away, the ash would pose serious health risks. When inhaled, volcanic ash can cause severe respiratory problems. It can also irritate eyes and skin and contaminate water supplies. Hospitals and emergency services would be overwhelmed, struggling to function with limited power and resources while dealing with a surge of respiratory patients. Mass evacuations would likely be necessary from heavily affected areas, creating a refugee crisis within the United States. The psychological impact would be enormous as millions of people grapple with the loss of homes, livelihoods, and loved ones, as well as the shock of such a massive natural disaster. One of the most long-lasting and far-reaching effects of a Yellowstone eruption would be its impact on agriculture. The ashfall would devastate crops across a huge swath of North America. Even a few inches of ash can make farmland unusable for years. Livestock would also suffer, either from direct ash inhalation or from a lack of viable food sources. This agricultural devastation wouldn't just affect North America. The United States is one of the world's largest food exporters, particularly of grains. A sudden drop in U.S. food production could trigger a global food crisis. Food prices would skyrocket, and countries that rely heavily on U.S. imports could face severe shortages. Now, here's where things get really interesting from a scientific perspective. A Yellowstone super eruption would have global climate impacts that could last for years. The enormous amount of ash and sulfur dioxide ejected into the upper atmosphere would block out a significant amount of sunlight. This could trigger what scientists call a volcanic winter. Global temperatures could drop by several degrees for multiple years drastically shortening growing seasons and further compounding the agricultural crisis. The effects of a Yellowstone eruption wouldn't stop at the borders of the United States. We'd be looking at a global catastrophe. The American economy, one of the largest in the world, would be severely disrupted. This would send shockwaves through global financial markets. International trade would be thrown into chaos as one of the world's largest economies essentially goes offline. Other nations would struggle to fill the economic void, potentially reshaping global power structures for decades to come. Yellowstone is renowned for its diverse wildlife and unique ecosystems. An eruption would be absolutely devastating for these. Many species, especially those unique to the Yellowstone area, could face extinction. The famous Yellowstone bison herds, wolves, and grizzly bears would be particularly vulnerable. The interconnected nature of ecosystems means that the loss of key species would trigger cascading effects throughout the entire food web. Wildlife migration patterns across North America would be severely disrupted, affecting ecosystems far beyond the immediate eruption zone. So, after all this devastation, what would recovery look like? Well, it would be a long, slow process. In the most heavily impacted areas near Yellowstone, it could take decades or even centuries for ecosystems to fully recover. The landscape itself would be transformed, with new lakes formed in crater depressions and lava flows creating new geological features. Human recovery would involve massive reconstruction efforts, likely spurring innovations in construction, agriculture, and environmental restoration technologies. Economic recovery would require unprecedented international cooperation and could take generations to fully restore pre-eruption prosperity levels. Here's the thing. While the scenario we've explored is pretty mind-blowing, the actual likelihood of a Yellowstone super-eruption happening in our lifetimes is incredibly small. Current research suggests that we'd likely see warning signs decades or even centuries in advance. But studying these possibilities helps us better understand our planet and prepare for other, more likely, natural disasters. The monitoring techniques and disaster preparedness strategies developed for supervolcanoes help us prepare for earthquakes, tsunamis, and other natural hazards. For now, 
Yellowstone remains one of our planet's most beautiful and fascinating natural wonders, safely sleeping beneath our feet. Well guys, we've been on quite a journey today, exploring one of nature's most powerful phenomena. I hope this dive into the science of Yellowstone has left you with a sense of awe for our planet's incredible forces. Remember, knowledge is power and understanding these processes helps us better appreciate and protect our world. If you found this fascinating, hit that like button, subscribe for more mind-blowing science, and let me know in the comments what other geological wonders you'd like us to explore. Until next time, stay curious and keep learning.